with with Ortega, like everyone, like he literally says it that I don't need to worry about getting taken down. No one's gonna take me down because I know I'm I'm fine jujitsu, and his jujitsu is world class. His jujitsu is legit, but I mean, to it's this is MMA, yeah. You got a lot more different obstacles. One, I'm allowed to punch you in the face. Uh, you know, two, you got cages that are that they're gonna get in your way. And a good example is even with I was grappling a guy today and uh he oh, we end up being near near the cage and then like he's trying to do like all these things, like thank you, his jujitsu will be pretty good. And he's like, Oh man, you just you know, like your legs are too strong to move. I'm like, Oh yeah, well um I've got a i I've got a cage here that I can keep myself balanced on. You know what I mean? Like I can literally I was doing it just to show him that. That ain't working here. You know, what you're doing in the middle, all right, I'm going to have problems. And I did it purely just to, like, it was just a... An I, ego I a, trip. Yeah, An well, ego yeah, trip. yeah, I don't think I was trying to be a prick, but <laughs> I was just standing there and letting him realise, going, you ain't moving me. Yeah. And, like, he's, like, trying to do this. He's, like, far out. I'm, like, going... I'm, like, I'm on a wall here. You know what I mean? I'm tripoding myself on a wall. Like, you know, you ain't going to just... You can't manipulate my balance here. Like, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm jamming myself to the wall here. So you can't, like, you know, in the middle... I can't do that. He pulls me one way. I'm going to fall that way. But if I'm just balancing myself on the cage, you only can take me one way. It's going to be hard when I'm fucking like this. Yeah. <laughs> but you get what I mean? Like it's – so there's little things and I was just – you know, it's it's a total different world. Uh, and again, don't get me wrong. Like am I going to play jiu-jitsu with Ortega? No, I'm not going to play jiu-jitsu with Ortega. Will it go to the ground? Am I going to be really scared to go there? No, I won't. Is there going to be ways I approach that? Yeah. Am I going to give that away now? No. <laughs> but, but there's going to be, you know what I mean? There's, a, again, like you said, like there's, yeah, these positions and, you know, he's real good off his, his back and, you know what I mean? He's, you know, he's really good at getting his, to this position. But I can manipulate him getting to that position by doing this, 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 this. Yeah, there's principles that we know about. I can nullify these pr- principles and that's enough. How do you see <laughs> Ortega? Do you feel that he, um, again, this is, a blanket statement people go he's improved a lot mm-hmm. i'm not saying he hasn't by mm-hmm. the way um he also comes from a very smart camp mm-hmm. he's a smart guy he's actually quite a, a big guy for the division not massively thick mm-hmm. but tall rangy do you feel that he has improved in leaps and bounds with his striking between the max holloway fight and the zombie fight or do you feel it was zombie was a good matchup for him in that regard or do you feel it was a combination of both it was a or any other. It was, it was a bit. It was a bit of everything. But um, he did change his style and the way he approaches uh, the fight as well, because he doesn't usually fight like that. You know, he was always been the type of guy that, like, you know, he would just scrap and look. He was an opportunist, so he would look for that big finish, look for that big submission. Like, you know, it was pretty. Obviously, it's a bit more technical than that, but that was sort of how you know he would finish fights. A lot of times, he was a. Uh, copping a beating like you know like you know pretty much and then getting the finish and you know people forget that so i always knew that that was the type of fight he was so when he was fighting max the first time i knew that max was gonna pick him apart yeah. and then uh you know when zombie in that purely from how they fight zombie and and ortega from going on how ortega usually fights i thought zombie would win then ortega completely changed his style and the way he approached the fight and pretty much Pretty much approach the fight how I would fight them, as in like. But I feel like more to. I feel like I would get a lot more technical and a lot more detailed. But you get what I mean, like just shot selections, uh, you know, fight at range, you know, like simple as that. It gets a bit more detailed, but you get what I mean. And then I could do that to both of them, and it'd be a I'll do what he did to Zombie to do both of them. That's how I would sort of picture it. Where now he's changed it up, so now he's uh, you know he showed that he's got a real understanding. Whether he probably understood it before, but that wasn't his. That wasn't his direction ever. Now he's like distance control, he's shot selections. Uh, a lot of these things. So he's changed. Uh, I think he's done some, some of his team as well. They've done some like research, I've done some studying. Uh, I'm not saying on me, but I mean, uh, you know, I feel, I feel like he's uh, or me or, or whatever, or, or our team or whatever it is. But I feel like, uh, you know, there's things that he does that I'm well aware of. Do I think that? He's uh, leveled up. I do think he's leveled up. Uh, but again, I still feel like, you know, things that he's, uh, the game that he's trying to sort of go in the direction he, he feel like, if he feels like he's going to go that direction with me, I feel like I'm, I'm still levels ahead because I've been doing it for a lot longer. And, uh, you know, I, I feel like I've got a real understanding of, you know what I mean? And, and then I've got 
my you know my natural uh, abilities and then i've got my reactions and like all these other details that you know i've just always been in these positions i know that and my body just knows what to do so when you try and do something you still i still feel like there's learning that needs to be done there for him as well and a bit more experience in these sort of positions and again i'm trying to like uh, give you a bit without giving too much away at the same time but again if uh, the fight that he fought with zombie i feel it was definitely levels above i thought he fought a lot smarter uh, easy way I put it, shot selection, distance control. Uh, but will that work on me? The fact that he uh, was able to you know, improve that much in that short amount of time, maybe he can improve again. But uh, I still believe it's just not enough, and that's no disrespect to him, but I still believe that he's dangerous with uh, looking for the, the big punches and then obviously looking for the submission. But I believe it, most of my guys in my division, that's sort of the early chance. There's only a few guys that uh, I feel... Uh, uh, better than me. This is going to sound like okay, I'm, I'm, I'm confident. You know, I'm, I'm not cocky, but I'm confident. I feel like there's uh, no one in the division that's better than me. Can they beat me? Yeah, it's MMA. They can land that shot. They can land that submission. You know, people can say I'm saying they're, they're totally a lucky shot, but this is the, this is our game. That's how I feel like the majority of, of my contenders can beat me. Uh, I feel like my hardest fights uh, stylistically have already been done. You know? So why do you feel? Because even though Max beat Ortega, mm -hmm. why do you feel that? Or because Ortega's got a lot of, I see him in a way more dangerous than Max. In a way, not better, but I think matching up with you, I think the difference that he has with his jujitsu, I think, is better than Max's striking against you. Mm -hmm. That does that make sense? Yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah, like and and I feel like, um, I I I thought. You would, you were going to hurt Max more with that right hand, but I think you broke that right hand. Yeah, the first yeah, fight. Yeah, in the first fight, and I actually said to people, I think Alex is going to catch Max with that right hand. Mm -hmm. Whether he's going to knock him out flat or not is not the point. But yeah. you did catch him a few times. Yeah, like and that's how you broke your fucking hand. Mate, he's got, a, he's got, a, he's got. Does he's known for his chin? You know yeah. what I mean? And obviously, I'm talking a big game. I'm going to finish him. I'm going to finish him. It was uh, obviously you're always going to do that. I did believe. Obviously, I believed it. But again, he's got he's known for his chin, and he showed that his chin chin holds up well. So there was times where I seen like he would like even go cross eyed, like I'd land big shots, and like you'd see him like over here, and he's looking uh, either side of me. And uh, you know, it was just uh, oh, sorry, <laughs> I turned my phone off, but the watch is going. <laughs> this guy's an animal, an absolute savage. That's, <laughs> that's how dangerous he is. He doesn't care. <laughs> but uh, you know, there was uh, you know he was I was catching him, and then boom, like you know, I'm thinking far around, he's still standing, and then come back to it like pretty quickly and i'll be going oh like that gotcha and he's like yeah, yeah, yeah. and then he's, he's back to it so yeah i've got to give him credit where with his chin you know he's known for his chin and, and it held that well but but then why do you feel uh with ortega that that there isn't that you, you do you feel that, that there's a danger there or do you feel like more much do you feel more you sorry i'm going stumbling over yep. my words i meant you feel that the hardest matchups were behind you. Mm -hmm. You don't feel Ortega's as bad a matchup for you as Max? Uh, I don't think, no, a bad as matchup. I don't think. It doesn't mean, but again, that's, I mean, matchup stylistically, and that's that's going real deep. But I mean, the chances, like, you know, the potential of, of my opponents winning, that doesn't mean I'm saying, oh, they only got a 10% chance of winning. Yeah, I mean, or whatever, it doesn't you know, mean you're doing one, a week, one day a week training. Yeah, exactly yeah. right. It just means that. I, again, I think you know with Max, I need to be up. I need to be up scratch. I need to be fit. I need to be there because he could still. He's a type of fighter that could still beat me on points. You know what I mean? Where I feel like uh, he could still outstrike me. He could still out like you know fight IQ me or whatever it is. You know what I mean? So it's harder. There's there's a whole game plan you need to stick to and you need to be sharp the whole way through. Where do I feel like that with with Ortega? No, not as much. Do I feel like he's uh? I still got to be careful in a lot of positions. Yeah, fucking no. So I could, if I do one lazy shot, that could be it. You know, if I do, do you know, if I don't do it properly, that's all she wrote. You know, that could be like, am I going to be scared to take it down? No, but I mean, am I going to approach takedowns a bit different? Yeah, I will. So there's going to be ways, but I feel like there's easier solutions to uh, sort of uh, nullifying these things from happening. And, you know, so I feel like, uh, yeah, I just feel like stylistically, but uh, again, this game is, uh, this is something that excites me as well, that, what I know now, or you know, the fighter that Ortega was there, who knows what what fighter is going to come? So I need to be prepared. Who knows if he's quadrupled in skill again? Like you know what I mean? I feel like he leveled up. What if he levels up again? It's a problem. 
So I need to be prepared for that. So uh, I'm going to be making, you know, I'm not, like you said, I ain't training once a week. I'm going to be training, you know, uh, seven days a week. You know what I mean? And, uh, but uh, again, we've, I lost track of where I was going there now. We've, uh, we've Ortega. I'm having a full blank here. Where were we? Well, I think we were just, like, overall, we're just discussing he's got these yeah. particular skills. Yeah, exactly. Sorry, that's that's where I was going. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we've, uh, with him, he's got these skills. And, again, who knows what type of fighter he's going to be then. And what, what I know now, this is with the direction I was going. Sorry. What I, what I know now might not be enough in a couple of months' time. You know what I mean? I could be. The thing is that the game's evolving so much. People are getting better. People are doing their research. People are getting knowledge. You know, they're studying fights. And, you know, what I know now or what, you know, what I know now won't be enough in six months. I've, I've said that a few times. So it's exciting. That means I need to evolve every time. So as long as I'm trying to stay ahead of the game, I just want to be at the front uh, the whole time as well. So if I get complacent, you know, these guys will level up and evolve with the game, which is exciting because it's, you know, people I've been, I was asked not that long ago about, you know, where am I, like from one to a hundred, to my skill level? As in, I'm like, oh, well, that hundred's never going to stop. You know, that hundred doesn't stop here because the game's evolving. What I know now won't be enough in six months. So that 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 bar is just going to keep getting higher and higher, which is exciting. I can just keep going. I don't care if I'm ninety percent, and I just keep staying ninety percent. But we all moving together. I'm moving with the, I'm moving with it type thing. So that's it. That's exciting. But again, I just feel from what I've seen from my opponents right now, I feel like a I feel like a yeah I'm I'm a I'm a better fighter, and uh, you know they they got more of a puncher's chance and all that. Can that change in a couple of months? Yeah, maybe. But right now that's what that's what I feel. I feel like my hardest fights uh, are behind me right now. But in six months we don't know if that makes sense. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, does Ortega get warm in here? Do, do you want a drink or no, something? Uh, is this one? Yeah, that's yours. Oh, that's yours. Yeah. Um, we can get more get more water or anything. Um, do you do you feel Ortega in particular with his jiu-jitsu? What are the dangers that they present to you with his jiu-jitsu? Yeah, his yeah. jiu-jitsu in particular. Yeah, like a uh, his jiu-jitsu in general. You know, what I mean, this is going to be a position where, I you know, if I'm sitting there playing jiu-jitsu with him, and it's going to be hard to break him because he's so comfortable. Even when he's tired, if I if I was starting to break him and I decide to take him to the ground. You know, I'll put pressure on him. He's starting to crumble. We go back to the ground. That's his world. Now he doesn't have that pressure on him anymore, even though he's got my weight. But this is a world that he's so comfortable. You know, he can he could be half knocked out and his body's going to do the right thing because he's been there a billion times. That's his world. So that's going to be a problem. You know what I mean? Go on there. So, you know, I've got to be – there's got to be other ways that if I do go to the ground, I've got to make him uncomfortable in ways that, you know, he's not comfortable in. So, you know, again, like if it's – Are there be, things that you've seen? Yeah, well – with his, are there are there chinks in his jujitsu armor that you've seen? Uh, yeah, there are. Without there there are with a, with a lot of fighters. Again, there's a again it's no, a but with him in, in a cage is a whole different world. With him world. in particular, is there something with his grappling? And gra so let's start. Let's call it grappling, not jujitsu, yep. because it's we're starting standing. with a whole bunch of other stuff. Mm -hmm. You can still call it jujitsu. I don't give a shit. Yep. But I'm saying we we're talking about it. The wrestling component as well. Mm -hmm. Are there chinks in his armor in his grappling? Because he's he is a, a, an amazing grappler, yeah. an amazing amazing grappler. Um, but are there chinks in his overall grappling that you've looked at and said there are places I can make them comfortable? Have you already ascertained that? No, we haven't already done that. But I mean, when I say in jujitsu, you're talking about so studied enough where, again, without giving too much away, <laughs> there's there's ways that we we need to approach. The way we get into the grapple, the way we even just get into the clinch or whatever it is, there's going to be ways you're going to get into there, and there's going to be ways that you are going to sort of even approach your grappling with him. You know what I mean? Like again, I could sit there and be like, "Oh yeah, I go this position. He's not that good in the half guard." But again, that's his world. He's going to find like he should find a, his way again pretty comfortably because this is a world that he's so comfortable at that, that I feel like the you know it would be very hard for to mentally break him there. He's going to find ways to get where he's comfortable a lot easier than if I was on the feet and I was giving him problems on the feet and I'm pressuring him. It's hard for him to find an answer. It's hard for him to get away from that. I'll go to the ground. There's going to be ways where he can, all right, give me a second here. You know what I mean? Like, you know, so that's his world. So we, we again, do I want to take him there? No, I don't want to be there the whole fight. But do I want to show the world that 
I could take him down if I want. Yeah, I do. There is a, you know, there's a, there's a, something inside me that wants to be like, I'm going to show him and then I can take him down. 